How do you keep people watching your whole video? We've seen lots of videos on the Creator Insider channel about the audience retention feature. And you know by now that YouTube's search and discovery system loves videos that people have found satisfying in a great way that it determines that is audience retention. But from a content strategy point of view, from a creative strategy, how do you keep people watching? I'm Matt Koval and I want to offer you six ideas on how to keep people watching your video. So let's just get right into it. I got my notes here and number one is a strong hook. There's a reason I didn't start this video with, hello, creator insiders. My name is Matt Koval. I'm YouTube's creator liaison. How are you? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. It's uh, it's a little rainy here. No, I, I didn't start with all that. I started with what I think you care about, which is what you clicked on, how to extend the audience retention of your videos. So if you can, when you're thinking about how to construct your video or how to script it, put what they care about up front. See if you can tease the value of the video up front with something enticing. That will help people know that they should stick around. Number two, speed of delivery. I am not a fast talker normally, but when I'm on camera, I try to pick up the pace. I try to increase my energy and my, my speed of delivery and my positivity because you have options, you have millions of options of other things you could be watching right now. So I wanna to try to deliver this information as quickly as I can. So when you are making your videos, get your energy up, try to talk a little faster than usual and use jump cuts to take out all the ums and uhs. Number three, add lots of visuals if you can or mix up the locations. Now you may know Casey Neistat, very talented filmmaker. He's a vlogger, but he vlogs in many different locations. And if you really pay attention to how he constructs his videos, he tells a story like anybody else would direct to camera, but he doesn't sit in one place all the time. He tries to get up and he tries to change the angle and come over here and over there. I don't have the time to do that right now, so I'm hoping you're staying with me. But if you can really show people lots of visuals, whether it's graphics, animation, or at least pick up the camera and, and show people different locations, it can really help maintain their attention. All right, number four is drama and conflict. Here in the States, we have these shows like Dateline or 2020, and they're incredibly gripping and captivating. I can't look at one of those shows for even a minute without getting sucked in. So is there anything about what you do that, that can uh, generate some drama or conflict Hopefully not real drama and conflict, but drama and conflict really can hold people's attention. Number five, a big climax. Is there something that you can put towards the end of the video that is this really exciting moment that people are going to wait in anticipation for? Going back to another favorite creator of my sons is Mr. Beast. And we watched a video a while back about Mr. Beast buying the biggest fireworks he could and the the biggest one possible was $600,000. But he started the video blowing up firecrackers that were like a dollar each, and he slowly went up to higher and higher. So at the end of the video, there was this big climactic moment where he blew up the $600,000 firework. That's what I mean. Can you put anything towards the end of, the, of your video that people are gonna really stick around and stay tuned for? What is the big climax of this video? <laughs> I didn't really put one in. Maybe it's number six. Maybe that's gonna be the best. Probably not. Number six, audience loyalty. When your fans and viewers like you, they tend to watch longer. So all that work you put in built to build up your fan base, all the, the weekly videos or daily videos, you're building that bond or that relationship with your audience, and that really helps your audience retention, in my opinion. That's gonna keep people watching. So let's just recap here. We have a strong hook at the beginning. We have speed of delivery and energy. Try to make it exciting. We have lots of visuals and or lots of locations, if you can. Number four is some drama or conflict, if you can create that, some suspense, maybe. Number five is a big climax towards the end of your video. And you would talk about this in the beginning, in the hook, to see if you can lead people along towards the, the end, the big climactic moment. And number six is audience loyalty. All that work that you put in really helps create this bond 
that will keep people watching more of your content. I'm Matt Koval. Thanks for watching. Do check out all the videos on this channel about audience retention. There's some amazing new features that help you understand audience retention and when people are dropping off and sticking around for longer with your videos. So check those out. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end. Are you, are you still here? You're a trooper. I appreciate it. All right, keep it real.